Oh, oh, conta. Let's talk about some nerdy shit. So, I may or may not have fallen down a rabbit hole. What started as a little personal project to organize my architectural stuff somehow turned into me recreating Curacao in the Netherlands in 3D for myself. Basically, my pet project got out of hand. So why am I making this video? Well, I noticed that the Netherlands is ridiculously organized when it comes to urban planning data. Like, offensively organized. So I figured I'd share my process for building these digital twins to make life easier for future me. And maybe for you too if you're also into this niche bim fueled chaos. So, for Curacao, there's a DWG master file with height contour lines, same for the Netherlands. The only difference, to get the Curacao file, you need connections, charm, and maybe a bribe. I'm just kidding. Kinda. For the Netherlands, if you hear one bell, it means, excuse me. Two bells means, no really, I'm coming through. A bunch of bells plus, Fuck you. means welcome to Amsterdam. You just hit up the top teen NL from TU Delft and you're pretty much set to go. It's a website. One catch though, neither files have Z values baked in. So you gotta manually add elevation data in AutoCAD or your software of choice. Curacao gives you NMP heights right on the contours in the master file. The Netherlands, you'll need to head over to the ArcGIS site to grab these NAP values. These are heights from sea level values. Links in the description for the fellow nerds. Oh, and if you like dirt, like really into that underground stuff, check out DinoLocat. It gives you the geotechnical layers for soil nerds. Again, this is only in the Netherlands. The Netherlands is basically Minecraft for architects. Most of the country is digitized. Enter 3D Bach. 3D Bach is like CAD mappers, cooler, smarter cousin that doesn't disappoint you with family gatherings. It lets you download 3D building data from anywhere in the Netherlands. Just yeah. download the JSON file for the area you're working in. And if you're working in Revit, there's a free JSON file importer that you can download linked below. Other programs. Yeah, you're on your own. But share it below in the comments if you have an importer for your particular weapon of choice. The thing about CAD Mapper is that the topography is not fully accurate. I compared it between the Google Maps OBJ file and found a big difference between the two files and the buildings all have the same heights and for the roofs, they're all flat roofs. If you got a better workflow for Belgium, Germany or anywhere else, drop it in the comments below. I'm just curious um, if someone else has this type of workflow for other places in the world. I use this workflow to build a digital twin of the city of Wirt, Netherlands for a project I'm currently working on, video coming soon. It took me plus minus 4 hours to model the entire city. So top teen NL plus 3D Bach plus elevation data from Arches is... The Z values actually match between the files too, so that is a plus. Should you still get the land surveyed? Do it. Seriously, just do it. I don't care how accurate your file is, it prevents future bullshit in the construction phase. Trust me, this is just personal experience. For context, in Curacao, the same process would take a week. Curvier topography, fewer data sources, drone scans, it's a whole thing. Uh, the drone photogram the video linked above and below if you want to see that mess. My old methods consisted of exporting 3D Google Maps data into Blender, converting it into OBJ and importing it into Revit. Sounds easy, right? Um, well, the Google Maps data is low quality. You can still use it for renders of the existing site conditions and you can make some fun pictures. Not all the cities are also 3D. You have to keep that in mind. In the Netherlands, just a few big cities are 3D. You have places in the world where, yeah, the Google Maps data is actually pretty good. And CAD Mapper. Well, for CAD Mapper, the problem is the topography is questionable and the buildings are all identical cubes. So while it's a good starting mass and you can use it for just the surrounding area, just because it's not really that important. But if you're extra,
and you kind of want to have a more high quality presentation piece or just using as a tracing thing because you know architects don't really have to draw that much you could just trace it having something that is more realistic helps you just boost your quality of work so the first time i tried all this was with maastricht i used the google method i used the point cloud instead of obj here and it took me about four hours to model one church and just the mass of the church. So what do you get from this workflow? A basic digital twin, great for renders, sketch references, and BIM integration. And yeah, you can still export it to SketchUp for the boomers, yeah! or drop it into AutoCAD if you're still about that 2D life, unless you're one of those rare breeds that actually 3D model in AutoCAD. The only thing I have to say to you then is, what is wrong with you? And for the Archicad users, you got the resources, figure it out, and share your results in the comments below. Don't be shy. Anyway, that's it. Hopefully this helps you streamline your workflow or gives you new tools to play with in the Netherlands. And if you're not in the architectural world, but stuck around till now, you either found this entertaining or very confusing. Either way, I appreciate you. Like, share if you feel like it and tell me what workflows you use in your part of the world. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Till next time.